that uh, Yoshi does have a very good selection of aerials that basically it's hard to choose like, oh, I want to have this one but not have this one available. But what we will have available is King Arc versus Tilde in Winner's Quarters. We're gonna start out on Town and City. So they oh. already ripping the Falcon combos. Actually, really looking for the downer on that one. Yeah, so I actually, I have not, this is my first time getting to commentate Tilde, and I am excited because he is a player who, over the course of the uh, pandemic, has really, really gotten better. Also grown like a really great stream presence for himself, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. um, and he has some of the flashiest Falco combos I've seen Twitter clips of. Yeah, I mean, so. just going into it right now, we saw low percent double, uh, what is that, illusion? We're getting the side beat back to back. It's like, who, do, who does that? You got to have a little bit of style going on if you're going to do something like that. That being so, said, Mega Man, and specifically King Oaks Mega Man, also has a decent amount of style, but I think you have to hit him in order to show him the kind of style you have. And that's something that has not been happening till they so evasive and still finding all of these huge hits. Mm -hmm. And we see right there, while uh, till they had King Arc at the ledge, it's difficult for Mega Man when he doesn't have a lot of space to work with to space out these aerials. Normally very good, um, very... Pretty safe when they're spaced. Along with his projectiles, it's easy to weave them in. Oh my god, he's just not stopping. He's chasing him down. Now it's really looking uh, like King Ark has his work cut out for him now. <laughs> Till they feeling himself a little bit, going a little I wild. Think, I think King Ark's work might get uh, outsourced to game two. <laughs> it just might. How did that beat the forward air? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Okay, so down air beating the forward air. This is. <laughs> Till they has all the energy right now. This is this is till this game to lose. This would be uh, okay. That's Ooh. a good way to start it back. DP. And it is worth noting that Falco does have you know it can be tricky to catch his recovery, but he does have an exploitable recovery, especially for a character like Mega Man who has an amazing back air, amazing forward air. I mean, look at this already 63% dished out. Yep, and that was actually a really good chase down we saw there, um, following Tilde up on the ledge jump and then actually taking his jump and following with the up air as well. Very limited options, <laughs> despite the fact that. I, okay, that's something he's been doing every time. He <laughs> SDI's the up air and then reflects it. Oh, that's that's so cool. Actually, with punishes him on that one, it looks like the down tilt that low pro uh, profiled him under the. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god. Falco Dare, dead. baby. Sorry, got a chance. <laughs> got a chance. Sorry. I gotta get my prize money and go home. Yeah, that was very commanding by Tilde. I'd be uh, interested to see what the adaptation might be from King Arc on this one. Well, firstly, it seems like we're getting a stage switch, mm -hmm. which I, I agree with. I think that the, the just the, 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 the extra height on Town and City did not help him. It felt like he was dying off the top regardless, you know, like right there. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And I can see on paper how that would make sense for him, like, oh, you know, reduce blast zones, kill him with back air, what not. But going to game two, we are going to have uh, a little bit of platforms on the side here, a little bit of a stage change. We'll see how it benefits King Ark and his counterfeit. Now, one thing I do want to just mention is how normally Mega Man's pellets, you know, they're a fantastic tool for walling people out. But Falco in general loves to come at, down from above, especially this down slide, you know, like right there, as you see it, down and uh, like at a 45 or even steeper angle. And that's something that Mega Man pellets can't quite as effectively deal with. And that's one of the reasons why you don't really see King Arc going for it that much. Mm -hmm. And you do have to commit very much so. Um, Falco with a very large jump on this one. If Mega Man does want to try to make the pellets work there, gets it with the reverse down here. <laughs> and the little dance on top of it. Yeah, if he wants to try to get it, he has to make a commitment in the air. And then you're meeting Falco in the air. It's just... I don't know if the meth checks out in King Ark's favor, but he can make this work. He does have the mid-range over him. Falco with the lasers. He does have the reflector, but he can't hold it like Fox or Wolf can. The Come illusion on. was the out of shield punish. Tilde picking these options that definitely King Ark isn't quite ready for. And they're also really rewarding options as well. Mm -hmm. and we see okay, possible edge guard time. Goes for the hard knuckle, but a little bit far out. Tilde's going to take that opportunity to go backstage. Right, Mid-screen, yeah. conversion off the metal blade, very nice. This could be good as well. He does have Crash, crash Bomber, bomber catches... Him. He ah. actually got hit by the last little bit of Crash Bomber. That looks like it kept him from converting. Nice, nice. though, drop through and then going in the back air. Also, I believe he turned around before dropping through to make sure that he got a back air instead of a forward air. Mm -hmm. Very, like, it's one of those things where he's aware of the exact move that he needs to in order to actually kill in that situation. Yep. All right, chasing a little bit with the lemons, trying to go for a hard knuckle, perhaps looking for an air dodge in. Forward air string. Conversion off the illusion, not quite. Mega not finding its mark. 
Now, it's, we haven't really seen an edge guard, like, you know, a low percent edge guard from King Arthur onto Tilda. And this is the point where I feel like that needs to happen, you know? 24% on his second stock and already King Arc on his last legs here. If he drops this game, despite the fact he made it all the way here to winner's quarters, he's going to be knocked into the loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. Although this is a good way to start it, getting a throw on this, taking center stage a little bit, knocking Tilde off. Going to have to fight his way back now if he wants to make this work. Tilde getting a lot of extra damage here. The risk reward on that up tilt is just so stilted. Mm -hmm. You see that at, at those lower percents, especially Falco, uh, Tilde throwing it out quite a bit because he knows that if it lands once, 88% in the blink of an eye. All right, gets with the hard knuckle, but DI's back in so he can tech very good, but actually catches the roll in with the up tilt. Very nice. All right, 88%. This is still very much doable. Oh, it might be doable, but it is not easy, and Tilde is not making it easy for him in the least. But we do have an opening, possibly, but we saw the grab there, oh, just only barely whiffing. Hit. Yeah, he falls out of the second hit of up tilt on that one. That might have potentially been a confirm. Look for the up tilt again, trying to close this out. Illusion baits it out. Very nice, 60%. Falco at the edge, this is starting to look a little scary for him. Falco, not that heavy. Yeah. Oh. And all of Mega Man's hits send up such a low angle, generally speaking. So, like one back it will send him at off stage at a point where it's going to be tricky for him to actually recover. Mm -hmm. And we see a little bit of leaf blade pressure there. Land with it. Um, get all the time in the world to hit confirm. If it's not there, oh, I'll just back off, shoot it off either towards or away. The King Arc has been holding onto this metal blade for so long looking for the exact opportunity to use it. He doesn't want to throw it out if he's not confident it's going to hit. Oh, throws it away right there, and now King Arc at 140% to back air confirm. Is it going to be enough? We have the Hey, you got him! You're not DIing that back into the stage. You're <laughs> too far away, my man. Oh, man. What a way to bring that back. Very... There was a point in there, I want to point it out as well. That jump right there, that was the smartest thing that King Ark could have done. That was, if I guess incorrectly here, I'm going to lose. I'm not even going to involve myself with this mix-up. Let's go for something else. And this is the result. <laughs> yeah, and it's the sort of thing where if you are told that, if you were on a stage like that with walls, which uh, I believe we're getting... Is it the Enhance! Field? Yes! Yes, Devin! Oh, my God. The new tech. All right, King Ark shaking it off for game three. Tede looking very focused. We're going to see how this plays out on small battlefield now. All right. Was that an illusion out of that? All right. Oh, and this is the sort of thing where King Arc as a player, you know, I, I you hear the, the phrase momentum-based player thrown around. Mm -hmm. But King Arc is the kind of person where once he starts, you know, he, he can crumble sometimes. But when he is not crumbling, he is crumpling the opposition. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. 70% onto Tilde. It's not that much of a lead, but considering the fact that King Arc had been down the entirety of the last two games, this is a real difference maker here. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I feel like there's going to be a whole lot of stock put into who takes the first stock and what that'll mean going uh, forward. Uh, 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 Did... What? Excuse me? Did he turn off the hit, uh, the knockback? What happened? Anyway. That was so strange. I'm not exactly sure. We yep. can take a look at it later on the replay, but we don't have time for that right now. Yep. Tilde. Oh, Tilde with the wall jump. That was very good to mix up his recovery, but catching King Arc's sports. That's the second time where King Arc, you know, was going for an edge guard, and then Tilde does some super sweet mix up to get back to stage, and King Arc just immediately punishes his ledge option that he picks afterwards. Mm hmm. Before it was, he punished uh, the roll with an up tilt right there. It was the forward smash. So not only does Tilde have to be sneaky with getting back to ledge, but he has to be really careful with his ledge get up timings as well. Absolutely. It's very tempting when you're coming back and you're expecting an edge guard. All right, air dodge and illusion respectively. Both of them want to get out of that situation. All right, Crash Bomber is in play. Actually uh, touches Tilde's shield a little bit, which lets King Ark go back. King Ark sitting with a very nice deficit, but he will eat the up smash there. Send it back to the Noosa. Sitting on 78%, a nice little bit of extra credit. Let's see what he can make to do with it. Oh, drag down, that's a good start. All right, chases with the laser to potentially catch a jump. Yeah, these combos from Tilde are still so consistent. That's 71%. But now King Arc might have this opportunity to do a ledge. Ooh, what a chase on the roll away. All right. Yep, actually just a little too far out on that one until Tilde was ready to punish. That's the second time he's gone for the roll-up after putting a Crash Bomber on the ledge. Feels like Tilde has anticipated it. 
Okay. Going he's so going far! What? Okay. Okay. I, I think that was a good idea, but it didn't pan out quite how King Ark was looking for. Fights his way back on the stage with the forward smash. All right. Oh, he was shielding at that time. You look at that angle. Very nice. All right. Trying to play it safe, fade away with these back airs over here, trying to put out something that'll knock this stock out from I Tilde. He went right and illusioned in his face, but King Ark wasn't there to punish, but any move at this point Yo. will take it. It's the down tilt from Tilde that finally finds its mark, and now King Ark has to find some way to convert this side without getting hit by an up tilt or a grab that might lead to huge damage. Mm -hmm. Sitting on 57. <gasps> yeah, he was reading for it. I know, I know. And he still got it. Yo, that's it. And there you have it. Oh After being God. so neck and neck and neck, all of a sudden Tilde finds that one hit when he needs it and leads it into all of this damage, converting it into an entire stock. And I will say, that exact moment too. Air dodge, you done. Because normally, I mean, granted, that, that makes me tense every time I see it mm. anyway. But with Tilde, you know he'll go for it. He will hit that down air all the goddamn time. Yeah, and I would... So... Right there, actually, we can go back a bit here. Oh, yes. Um, Bring in the tech. Uh, this is so much power, man. Yeah. Too much at our fingertips. Thank, Thank you, you Devin. Devin. All right. So here he, he reads this. He read the air dodge, but wasn't really able to punish it. Yep. It looks uh, but like. But here's the thing. Okay. So we're going to pause yeah. here. We see, actually, I believe it's the beginnings of forward air come out here. I think you're right on that one here. If we go back a couple frames. It's going to be hard to tell exactly, but... That's the arm going up there, and he's the moving arm, forward. And that's the option that he has been picking. That was we, There was before he was, you know, putting pressure on the ledge, and then he would go for this roll up, you know? Mm -hmm. And then Tilda started catching on to that. And then he started doing it with the ledge, with, you know, dropping off and coming back with the forward air. And Tilda was ready for it just one step ahead I, this I, time I, around. I need, I, need to, I need to just... Oh. And also, look at that! He just barely <laughs> missed the ledge! Just barely! He was shaking in and out of hit stun. Hold on a second. Like, let me go. <laughs> Minus 10 frames. Oh, yeah. Stop. There. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. The Shh. Shh. Okay. All right. All right. So. Yep, the bait. And I wanted to say, I think this looked like this he was trying to jump back yeah. and then do the down air, but he got the back Like, Look at this. Look at, hold on a second. Look at all of the, the hit stun wiggle. It feels like he's, like, making contact. <laughs> With the ledge, he's like contacting the ledge, Let and then me gets, back, and then gets hit stun wiggled just off stage. Let me back to the stage. No! And then he got like wet the van. Oh man. Okay. Anyway.